Hey, welcome back, folks. Jay Barino here, continuing Life Force, a custom campaign for StarCraft II. Created by Bilksor, I'm really, really liking this campaign so far. The first mission, the map quality was just top-notch, and I'm very curious to see how the bank data is going to be used as we move forward. All right, map two, Prud-19, crumbling industrial plant. The junk frigate will get repaired between attacks unless you take it down for good. That, to me, sounds like a recurring mini-boss, but we shall see what the context is of that. Okay, clear the landing zone, destroy the junk frigate, raise the striker bases, retake the plant. Production and recycling plant 19 on the planet of Marsara has been compromised, and we've been hired by the plant's board of directors to retake it. After living conditions... After living condition negotiations repeatedly fell through between management and the striking factory employees, things took a bloody turn when the strikers took the facility by force. The strikers have since repurposed construction equipment as war machines and have even commandeered a massive junk frigate. Could be an excellent opportunity to further test Razorface. I suppose, I mean, as long as... As long as this is not an objective that he needs to survive, he kind of seems like a liability. Heavy missile assault unit deals extra damage to armored units, can attack air units unless upgraded. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, if we're facing air units, if we're not, then that seems kind of useless. All right, and we have an armory now, which is excellent. Can revive dead hero units. Wonderful. So that answers my question. Razorface, you will be excellent this mission. Let's continue on Brutal. I did okay last map, though. Uh, I mean, it was, it was tough, but I just played very safe, and I was able to succeed. So let's go ahead and, and keep going on Brutal. Until we feel like we just can't anymore. Probably wise to stay in high orbit until we finalize our strategy. We found some interesting things on Genesis that we can put towards new tech. Okay, that is perhaps the foundry. Let's see. Don't worry, Magistrate. These research points will be here to spend next mission all over again. If we make it that far. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is awesome! Okay, so we have different upgrades. So we got one free Lara upgrade, and we got one free Decker point, but then also two more because we sided with him. So let's check these out. Lara, we only have one. Unlocks additional upgrades at the engineering bay. Infantry armor. Okay, so these are interchangeable, sort of. Basically saying that you can't just get plus two eventually. You actually have to unlock it using your points. So, I only have one Lara upgrade. Let's check this other stuff out. These are Civics Hub upgrades. So this means that the Civics Hub heals faster. I can't say that's worth a point in my opinion. Let's look at the other ones, though. Activates a repair drone that circles the Civics Hub. Civics Hub must be landed for it to work. So this can also affect mech units. I'm putting more points to it means it works faster, I suppose. Let's check supply chain. Instantly calls a squad of three commandos to your Civics Hub for half their regular cost. That sounds great. 260 second cooldown. Honestly, that sounds like... That sounds great just because you can call them in in a pinch, but also it's just that they're cheaper, so you can just build your army a little bit cheaper. Though I am really leaning towards the mech repair beam now that we can build mechs. If we need them this map, I'm assuming because they were unlocked we're going to need them, so that we have the kinetic weapons. Increased attack speed of barracks units sounds pretty cool. Reduces damage from stim pack usage, ooh. Long-term side effects include suicidal thoughts, homicidal tendencies, chronic eye bleeding, face skin tightening into a wretched, terrifying smile, and runny nose. <laughs> Okay, so level 1 stim pack no longer deals damage. I think I'm definitely going to get. That also means I won't have to use Vita Packs to worry about stim damage in the future, so I may just go ahead and pick that up. Uh, the level 2 means you get healed by stim pack. I don't know if that's really worth a point at this point. Not your grandpa's missile turret. This baby spits out four simultaneous beams of destructive energy. Leaves food scalding hot on the outside, yet frozen in the middle. <laughs> Can it take air units or ground units when ability is used? So it sounds like it's primarily an anti-air turret, but you can use an ability to attack ground units. That sounds great. Not a detector. I don't know if that matters. I'm definitely getting those. That sounds like a great defensive structure in conjunction with your bunkers filled with enforcers. I'm going to get level one of safe stim because that's going to work well with Vita Packs because then we can stim without worrying about taking damage that we have to heal with Vita Packs. And I'm between the 10 attack speed or unlocking the level two upgrade. I think I'm going to unlock the level two upgrade. We don't want to neglect our upgrades Upgrade for sure. Complete. So let's grab that. That's all of our Decker upgrades, and I think I'm going to grab the mech repair beam for Lara, and in the future I'll consider this commando drop. But who knows what's going to be unlocked as we move forward. It seems like for the amount of points we got in mission one, and there's only four missions, unless we're going to see a huge influx of point income, if you will, in the upcoming missions, it seems like there's there's so many options Upgrade. here. The, the replayability complete. is huge because you can play so many different ways. This is This is awesome. Great use of bank data right there. The superheated crystals irradiated by our recent nuke have some interesting properties. Our research can benefit from further studying them. Check out the foundry for upgrades. Okay. 
So that's because we sided with Decker, I think, is what she's saying. From up here, high above the smog and trash and noise, Marsara looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just kidding. What a garbage hole. <laughs> oh, Decker. So I'm going to check this again. We talked to Lara. I thought maybe something would... No, okay. But uh, that the secret that we picked up doesn't seem like there's anything in the foundry. Just like there's nothing I can click on on the screen that may... That may point that out. No. Okay, so we got that secret. It seemed like it counted for something, but I'm not sure what yet. Various record bays are located in the region. Their pilots will try to run en masse to these locations. Killing them during this time would be highly efficient. And if you can't, well, let's just hope you like hot laser up in your face. Well, there's our need for anti-air. We've got the microwave turret and those new mechs. All right, Razor Face, we're going to be using you a lot this mission. I'm going to hotkey you right away, and let's move on in. Clear the landing zone. Let's just real quick look around for... Look around for... Secret Zelnaga Towers. All right, so let's get on in there. Oh, I see what's happening here. So these are the civilians. They're throwing firebombs at us. Help! They've got some sort of monster. All right, let's pound. Oh, a quake. And go ahead and use Feast as my marines in the back are just going to help clean this stuff up. That's Razorface is hitting the bunker that's actually getting repaired. Let's move him around and kill this SCV. And then we'll feast again when it's up. Okay, very cool. None of our marines got hit either. We don't have Vita Packs from the beginning of the map. But once we get a Civics Hub, it doesn't matter if they take damage because they can be healed. One really minor thing I want to point out just for playability's sake, some people might take this for granted, is that this command center is being built. You don't have to waste your time destroying an entire command center. And again, first from someone who's played a lot of custom campaigns, I feel like this really takes the players considerate this really takes the player into consideration. It takes your time into consideration, thinking like, well, it adds to the scene that the rebels are trying to build here. Landing zone clear, incoming base infrastructure. It adds to the scene that the rebels are trying to build here, but you don't have to destroy an entire command center to get your base set up. Also, it's really cool to see these buildings drop in from orbit. Okay, let's get building. We do have our civics hub as well. And we want to be on the lookout for where we want to move that civics hub because we can use it as, a, as an income structure. So right down here, actually. And here's a wrecker. Let's go ahead and make sure we're standing by the, the civics hub. And poor, uh, poor Razorface can't help here. They're still in prototype, but looks like we're going to need some bigger guns to drop those records. Deploy the Sphinx. Oh, get in there, Sphinx. Make sure that these folks survive here. Okay, great. Additional Sphinxes can be created. Build a factory as soon as possible. Will do. Will do, Lara. Let's go ahead and get our tech lab. And we want to make sure we're looking around. We're going to leave these fellows right here. Area sweep complete. Here's where the strikers are dug in. Going to need you to level those bases, Magistrate. Okay, so we have good map vision. We do have some debris here that's blocking us from the other base. We might want to destroy that and move out pretty quickly because this base, appear at least on the minimap, appears to be the smallest one. So I think that might be my first objective. And then something about the, uh, the junker that we saw on the tip screen. We'll see what that entails. Okay, so there's a lot of upgrades, a lot of good upgrades we're going to want to be shooting for. I think what I'm going to do is actually move my Civics Hub down, like, right away, because I really need that extra gas income. I want to look to get some of those microwave turrets very fast, too, so let's get a fast engineering bay. And then those can help defend us before we can get those Sphinx out. It really depends on how much those really cost. All right, there's enemies down here, so Razor Face lead the way. Let's move on in with the rest of our units and our, uh, our, our Sphinx, because there's definitely air units here. Okay, you folks move away. Let the Sphinx take the damage. Attack and attack. Looks like the Sphinx can really take the heat here. All right, Civic Sub, you're going to come on in and land. Something big is coming from over the canyon. Defensive positions. There we go. Got rid of it. And this might be a little ambitious of me to be doing, but I um, guess let's throw down one of these. Oh, it's back there. Let's say we want to start throwing down turrets where I am expecting to get attacked. I don't know where, though, where that's going to be. Okay, let's just keep uh, keep mining away. And I think I'm going to get early structure armor for those missile turrets and things like that. There's my Sphinx getting healed up for free. That's wonderful. Razor face, why don't we move you down in this direction? Oh, okay, I see. They are going for my SCVs. Let's move on in. 
Razor Face, why don't we distract these giant XCVs? Those things look awesome. You see those? Those things look so cool. All right, well, we lost some SCVs already. That's not a big deal. It looks like the... So the Junk Frigate comes in and drops units behind our lines. That's bad news. Okay, so these guys are slowly getting healed up. Very, very slowly. Let's go ahead and grab an SCV and come on down here and build a bunker to defend our new civics hub. And with the structure armor, we should be in better shape. Let's go ahead and get Razor Face down here now. Get down here, folks. You guys run away. You guys run away. We want Razor Face to get in there as soon as possible. It looks like we can dodge these, uh, these Molotov cocktails that they're throwing at us, which is quite nice. Okay, and as long as we're sitting by the Civics Hub, we're in really, really good shape. And this is why I am putting... Well, I was putting up a bunker. It was destroyed. But let's go ahead and try to build that again. We have our microwave turret up, and I'm just slowly but surely getting set up here. My units are just so terribly expensive, that's why it's taking me a while. But let's go ahead and get Vitapack. Early Vitapack seems great, even though we're near a Civics Hub. But um, it seems like this commando is not getting healed up by my Civics Hub. Not sure why. Oh, no, no there he is. Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and just queue up a bunch of SCVs. That's too many. I understand. I'm, I over queued my SCVs, but I want to move these down here to get uh, mostly the gas income for now. And we are supply blocked. So let's cancel these and make some, some depots. Building armor is about done. We've got these microwave turrets set up. I'm going to get another one over here. And keep in mind, theoretically, we can use those to help us... To help us defend ourselves against ground units as well. Let's check. Ground targeting. Cool. It does 10 damage times 4. 40 damage is definitely noticeable. Let's go ahead and get our tech lab right away. Or our tech, uh, tech reactor. Depot is done. Let's actually queue up a second one right away. And, uh, Razor Face, I'm going to leave you up here to defend my main command center for now. We'll see if we want to change that pretty soon. And probably level 1 kinetic weapons. Let's go in and do it. Junk Frigate on the horizon. Light it up. All right, now it's coming from behind our base. So I think what I'm going to do is set up, uh, these turrets are 150. This is expensive of me to set up. I'm not going to do it, actually. Let's just go ahead and wait, and we'll see what, what comes of this. I definitely need some more commandos, though. Without a doubt. It's just they're expensive. Alternatively, oh, these Sphinx are 400 minerals. So we really need to focus on our income right now. For sure. Uh, this area down here is theoretically okay for now. Again, Razor Face can do a lot of work for us. Allows Sphinxes to target ground units seems very, very important. I'm not going to worry about the Junk Brigade because the tip said that they get healed up anyway. The tip said that they get healed anyway between each attack, so we might as well just let it go because we're not going to be able to kill it right away. That microwave... Oh, that's so cool looking. I like that a lot. So what I'm going to do is grab some more, uh, I guess some more microwave turrets around here so that we can kill that thing as it retreats next time. And then I probably want to get tripods for my, uh, my enforcers inside bunkers. Let's go ahead and feast. Just get a little bit of health back for this specific engagement. Now, unfortunately, we can't have more than one Civics Hub. That would be really cool if we could, but we can't. Okay, we got them, so let's move on down. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that's that's bad. Enforcers run. I, I suppose they're by the Civics Hub, so they're okay. All right, they're in range of the microwave. Go ahead and start attacking ground units, microwave people. These enforcers will slowly get their health back. A group of pilots is now heading towards the Wrecker Storage Bay. If they make it there, you'll be fighting an entire squadron of Wreckers. Eek. Okay, so... Oh, I see. So that's where they are. We're nowhere near where we need to be to go and stop them. Um... What to do about that? I am not sure. I'm gonna get Neo Steel Frame in advance. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up two commandos. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Sphinx Arc targeting and get an extra Sphinx here right now. So that they can target ground and help me out a bit more. These guys are very slowly getting healed up. I see now why the Civics upgrades may be absolutely worth it in the future. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and get another bunker here because this is where they're still attacking me from. And we just want to make sure that our uh, our enforcers are upgraded. And they're... they're okay, they are now. There we go. So our uh, extra marines are out. We want to get stim pack because it's not going to hurt them. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be getting hit by... It looks like we're going to be getting hit by some of these... Some of these folks that are coming at us with, what were they called? The the Wreckers or something like that? I think that the flying ones with the lasers that are actually quite good. So I have to be careful there. I might want to get a second turret over here to help me defend. Depending on which direction they come from. These microwave turrets seem quite good. And I also would really like uh, fire suppression systems. Okay, so you guys got want to come on in here. 
and help us defend. And let's get some SCBs over here to make sure that these uh, these things stay up. Okay, that's where they're mostly coming from. Get on down here, folks. Our second one isn't quite up yet. Get down there and repair it in time. Oh, not quite. All right, let's mass repair this. And now we have uh, we have some units to come in and help us. Marines, run away. No, 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 no. Okay, you move back. Vita pack and Vita pack. We don't want to be losing this stuff. They're actually attacking my SCVs that are repairing. Interesting. Let's go ahead and set up a new turret. Maybe if we had both set up at the same time, we would have been in better shape. Okay, so now I understand what we're up against and why we want to push through that other base, like, right away. So let's get more commandos, and our, our Sphinx will be able to attack ground here shortly. Seems like that upgrade takes a long time, as it should, because it seems quite good. Another attack coming down from down here. As long as, long as Razorface is here, I feel a lot safer. We have two more commandos coming, and I would like to get an enforcer. We didn't, we haven't lost anything except some microwave turrets, so we are okay. It's just we want to be on the lookout for that junk frigate moving forward. All right, you guys get back to, to base or back to mining, I should say. We're gonna get some more SCVs, and let's get that kinetic weapons level two, and let's get an enforcer here now. We can afford it. Man, those Sphinx are expensive. So it's really just when and when we want to attack. So I think my Sphinx can attack now, or my, uh, yeah, my Sphinx can attack ground now. Can they? Yes, they can. Wonderful. So that's very important. These, uh, these enemies that are coming with the Molotovs seem kind of annoying. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move out pretty soon. My first order of business is definitely to move, move, uh, right across the map. I'm gonna bust through those, uh, that debris. Alright, so go ahead and get mining, and then I'm gonna set up one more turret here. That might seem frivolous, but I'm gonna do it. Let's take my existing units and break through this. And I had an enforcer. There he is. Enforcer, why don't you get inside this bunker? We should be pretty well defended right now. Pretty well defended. Let's go ahead and grab some SCVs and transfer them down here. And then we can keep rallying to here. <clears throat> I would like to just make more Sphinx. They seem very, very good. And then we're going to need supply depots here pretty soon. I'm going to quick save. I feel like my setup is okay. We just want to be on the lookout for the junk frigate the next time it comes. Razorface can be resurrected if we build that proper building. So I will just go ahead and push into this area, and we'll bring him later. Let's stim. Let's feast. And as long as Razorface is taking the heat here, we're in really good shape. Okay, and we have another base we can take here, too. And we're going to be closer to where the pilot spawns. So as long as we can push through these buildings, we're in okay shape. Uh, you guys go ahead and attack ground. Let's go ahead and get repairing here. That was wasteful, but that's okay. Uh, how's, how's this going over here? We are getting rid of some of these uh, enemy buildings. Okay, that's no problem. And we can't build another civics hub, but I, what I am going to do is grab an SCV, bring him down here, and start setting up another base. Junk Frigate is closing in on the base. Defensive positions. Okay, we might be able to destroy it coming up here pretty soon if we get enough Sphinxes. Okay, you guys move on down here. We want to lead with Razor Face. And we're going to need to actually pull back here very, very soon. Let's just see if we can get rid of some of these buildings. And we're going to move back with our Commandos and Razor Face. Because we have to defend against this attack right now. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I've made a bit of a mistake because these units are going to come and attack my SCV, so we're going to run away. As my units... Try to get in there and help us. Move back, Marines. You go. You stim. That was good. Your forces are under attack. SCVs just repaired themselves up. That was nice. I would prefer not to lose a Sphinx right here. Okay, no problem. We're good. We have this set up. Razor face. Go ahead and feast. You guys all use Vita packs right now. And we want to get rid of that junk frigate. We definitely need to. Oh, this, oh, you X, the stupid XCV is in there killing my stuff. I guess I need to just set up, I need to set up defenses back here, but I don't really want to. Let's go ahead and sit by the civics hub here and get healed up in general. Let's go ahead and repair this and then repair this. Base is under attack. And then repair this. Unfortunately, this just finished, so now we're kind of screwed. Let's go ahead and grab Razor Face and move him over here and try to finish up this attack. Okay, and let's go back and try to save this area. Should be just fine right here. 
Good, good, good. And I wanna, I want to continue attacking through this area. So let's go ahead and get moving. Go ahead and hotkey this. Go ahead and hotkey this. Let's get two sphinxes and bring them up and ra rally them to Razor Face. Razor Face, go ahead and feast. This is great. This is really, really cool so far. Okay, let's keep pushing through these buildings. It looks like there's some resources to get, and I also got to be on the lookout for the secret. Okay, let's get infantry armor, and I want to get an armory. And more depots. The junk frigate is closing in on the base. Defensive positions. Let's go ahead and kill these SCVs. Start a bunker. And then get our units back to base to destroy the... Try to destroy the junk frigate. Let's see if we can do it. It looks like it comes up in this direction every time. So if we set up some microwave turrets up here, if we don't get it this time, we'll be able to get it next time. So let's see if we can get back to base in time. I want to build some enforcers for that bunker. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get there. I mean, we're going to have to kill the units that are being spawned. So go ahead and feast. And let's see if we can focus down this junk frigate. And right, we'll just keep feasting with Razor Face. Here comes another group of pilots. Destroy that southern base and meet him at the Wrecker Bay. Oh, well, I destroyed the, the first base. Oh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. I should have stimmed. Razor Face goes down because I wasn't paying attention to him. There goes our beast. Fortunately, we backed up his DNA at the synth, synth, the synth lab. So it's not quite the same Razor Face, but it is Razor Face. Okay, so this is not going as uh, as well as I would like it, but that's okay because it's I'm, I'm new to this. Go and set these up, and again, we've got those pilots coming for us here pretty soon. So this is going to be this is dangerous. Let's go in and get explosive weapons. Oh, I see. So they're coming. They come from different locations each time. Of course they do. Let's go ahead and get another one, just in case they come and hit me from over here. I have a lot of gas now, actually. Let's go ahead and just start repairing some of these folks. And I guess just more. More normal marines is probably probably the way to go. So he's saying go and destroy that other base. I don't think so. Um, I don't think I can quite do that. All right, this guy's trapped in. He's just going to repair for me. Have a little bit of uh, a little bit of income from this new base. I don't need that gas right now, but we will eventually. And just more commandos, I'd say, and then eventually another group of sphinxes. All right, so this. This group is good. I think what I'm going to do is take this... Oh, I need... Well, I don't have my synth lab. Oh, he's back. Okay, it automatically... It automatically resurrects him. So let's go ahead and get more commandos. And then lead with Razor Face. And we want to go. We really want to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to get down there in time. Where, where are you going, SCV? Did I tell him to go down here? Okay, well, that's been destroyed. I don't think we're going to be able to get down here in time. But I'm going to try. Okay, that's good. And can we can we get through here? He was saying you have to destroy the second base to meet them over here, but let's see if we can sneak through here. I should have scouted this whole area out first. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get here, but what we can do is sit here as they spawn. Oh, is that the junk frigate? Stim? Can, I wonder if rockets can hit air, actually. We're going to kite this thing and we're going to destroy it. This is gonna this is gonna save us a lot of anguish by getting rid of this. Cause it looks like it's coming at us again. And there goes the junk frigate. We got it. And down it goes. Now we don't have to worry about troops blasting up our backside. Which is good because I didn't spend any money to worry about that. What I'm gonna do is sit here and wait for those units to come at me. Let's go ahead and get two more Sphinx. Of course it's depots. Got a lot of extra SCVs now. Let's go ahead and build a refinery over here. So here comes the the uh the enemy pilots, but we're gonna cut. We're cutting them off as they get to us. And with the amount of sphinxes that we have, I think we're in really good shape. Let's go ahead and start vita packing here. So I'm not as worried about these things anymore. I do want to go and attack, though. What I'll do is go and sit by my civics hub just for a brief moment. Just for a brief moment. Obviously, money is gonna be an issue. I also want to be looking for secrets. So let's. Uh, I really should go and destroy this base like now, as opposed to bothering with uh, bothering with looking for the secret. I mean, I should definitely look for the secret, but not now. I should go later. Still, There's some enemies down here. I wonder where this is going to lead. Actually, this might be the entrance to the actual base. There's the secret. Wonderful. And I see an attack coming at me. Okay, we got it. 
We did get it, right? Secret artifact found. There we go. Go ahead and pull some of these uh, SCVs. And it looks like my enforcers inside these bunkers are doing a great job. It's just the, the Molotov cocktails do so much damage to buildings, it seems like. I think they just do a flat. Well, I couldn't quite select him in time. Okay, let's hang out here, get repaired just a little, or get healed up just a little bit, then we're going to go. We're in very, very good shape. I'm gonna get more Sphinxes. They do a lot of damage, they're very good anti-air. The problem, I mean, the difference is with the Commandos, the Commandos are a lot more versatile, so... It's hard to say what's better. These attacks are fine. <clears throat> so these are one of the types of missions that definitely get easier as you... Definitely get a little easier as you continue. And I think the reason for that is, as we destroyed one enemy base, we got... We, we're able to take their income. As we destroy a second enemy base, we're able to take their income, and they're not producing as much. It's things like that. Okay, and then obviously Razor Face, the fact that we can resurrect him is incredibly helpful. We got rid of the Junk Frigate. So we have two more bases to go. Let's move down in this direction. Or maybe I should just focus on this over here, just because this base is probably where the next group of pilots is going to come from. But I'm, I'm not sure. It's it, we're not gonna, We don't seem to be having too much trouble with... Uh, with the enemy uh, air forces anymore. Not with this amount of sphinxes. Plus, the, the upgrades that we're able to get seem to be incredibly, incredibly useful. Looks like we have to come up and around. Looks like a pretty large base. Let's go ahead and stim. And then we'll be using Vita Packs where necessary. I'm going to do my best not to lose units with Vita Packs. Uh, you can also mass use Vita Packs, and it'll only use it on the, the weakened Marines we learned from the last mission, so that's really, really nice. Let's just make sure we're destroying everything, because that seems like it's the, the actual objective, is destroy everything. And we'll see if we have to worry about any sort of uh, micro portion, like the last mission. It was, a, it was a macro portion leading into a micro portion, which then um, had a boss fight, which was very, very cool. Let's move on in, let's stim again. And it seems like as long as Razorface is feasted, he can take all the heat while my units behind him can just annihilate everything. For now, I am just using individual Vita Packs. I don't see much of a reason to not. Let's go ahead and feast again. He's got enough energy. As long as he's got energy to feast, you know, we just keep feasting him and he gets his energy back. Or his health back, rather. So I'm going to wait for this to finish, and then we're just going to use it again. We're getting attacked over here just by individual X... XCVs. The, the custom models are really cool. I like how these Wreckers have their little laser attacks. I like the XCVs are really, really neat. No, 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 no. You guys move back. Get healed, get healed. Let's keep it up. And it looks like they're building Wreckers from here. Okay, my enforcers in here can't attack air, but that's okay because we've got these microwave turrets set up. I like these microwave turrets. I think they're just objectively better than uh, missile turrets, so I think that was worth it to put a point into them. We'll see what our options are next time, and we'll actually have to see what our options are for siding with, with Decker slash Lara. This will slowly be destroyed, slowly but surely. And I suppose just to be safe, I'll move down and take that base. I could, I could float my command center. I don't really want to spend the money. I have a ton of cash. I just don't really need to use it right now. I'll just go ahead and queue up extra command. I'll just queue up a ton of commandos. I could make another barracks, but at this point, it just, I just don't need to. Let's go ahead and move up here. I'll make the extra barracks just in case. Let's go ahead and start getting some extra depots. And depending on what goes on with this mission later, we may end up really needing some extra cash. But at this point, I don't really think so. Okay, let's go ahead and invite it. Let's just select all my marines, invite a pack any that need to use it. Depots are an issue. That's okay, though. I wonder if we can go around and kind of flank this base in some fashion. Those Molotovs do area of effect splash damage, too, so you have to be a little careful. Big group of pilots is making a dash for the last unmanned wreckers. Big finale here, Magistrate. Oh, they're right up there, too. Jesus. Okay, well, that's too bad. He's saying big finale here. The question... I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there in time. I mean, we're coming from the bottom, and I don't know if the bottom is actually... If we're even able to enter the base here, it looks like we can, and it looks like we can circumvent that large bunker line from up there. We definitely have a large enough group. So let's see if we can maybe cut through this base and get there in time. Let's go ahead and stim. Getting that stim upgrade was certainly seemed worth it. Let's just try to move in here. There's some there's some bunkers still here. Oh dear, you guys move away and invite a pack. Razor Face is getting nuked down very quickly. It's actually quite imperative that he stays alive, so I'm keeping an eye on Feast. 
All right, now back up. We're gonna run you in a circle and see that you can dodge some of those Molotovs. Use Feast again. And let's see if we can, again, cut through this base quickly. We're destroying their, their colonist huts, too. That's a little depressing. All right, Razor Face almost has Feast back up again. Let's use it. And we're just gonna move up here and actually, for the, for the first time, we're finally gonna be able to maybe kill these pilots before they, uh, they can get to the get to the, uh, the area where they need to be. Alright, they move very, very slow. Uh, it sounded like Razorface just died. I assume that's what that big splat sound was. Let's just keep stimming. And we've killed all the pilots. They're not going to be able to get to their wreckers. So that's going to save us uh, a huge amount of, of heartache. Alright, you don't have to go that way. Let's go ahead and transfer our idle SCVs. And we did it. We just had to destroy the command centers. That's actually really nice. It's not a kill everything map. We'll have to blast through these doors. All remaining striking workers have barricaded themselves inside. The factory's got two main doors. Our best bet is to send two breach teams simultaneously. But before we send these teams in, let's take a peek at the factory surveillance feed. See what they're up to. Many of the strikers are injured. They seem to be surrendering. Smells like a trap. They deserve as much mercy as they've gotten so far. Let's finish this. Okay. Allow the surrendering strikers to live. Regardless of what happens here today, some workers will be needed to efficiently run the factory. Kill them all, even if they fight to the last man. This will send a message to any future troublemakers who get any bright ideas. Um, I'm leaning towards Lara, but after looking at the upgrades, I like Decker's first tier of upgrades. I don't know what the later ones look like, though, but I, at, at honestly, I kind of just want the Decker upgrades, which is not a good reason, ethically, to side with him here. I mean, I think, <laughs> I want to be consistent just because if I'm putting points into one side, I want to get the best stuff possible, and it seems like you want to be consistent with who you choose. So I'm going to go with Decker here and be consistent with my Renegade playthrough. But, my heart says go with Lara, but we're going to go with Decker here. He'll remember that, indeed. We also got our two secrets. I don't know what they're used for. Maybe we'll find out in the third mission. Oh, that was cool. The door getting blasted open. We're in. Let's frag these rebels. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Now, it was a trap! It's a trap. Stim. Oh, I never researched rockets. Oh, no. All right. Well, first off, we have to spread out because they're using Molotovs. Even more strikers appear to be arming in the assembly room. We can get there via the elevators ahead. Oh, I never researched the rockets. Oh, crap. Well, I had already quick saved when I came in here, so... Let's just quick save again and get on with it. Oh, that's so unfortunate for me, though. So, only four Marines, no Razor Face. Razor Face was dead. Only one Marine getting attacked here. Let's let's stick with it. Just go ahead and stim. You run away. Don't get murdered. Gotta wait for Vita Packs to come back up, and we just want to be using stim. I see now why the second level of stim pack would be absolutely worth it. Now, here, we really just have to kind of wait for... We just sort of have to wait. Oh, this was just a total trap. There wasn't even nothing even up here. We just sort of have to wait for Vita Pack. So it's hard to. I don't know. It's a showcase, but I also don't want to just straight up lose. We only have four Marines. We can't afford to lose them. So I think I'm just going to wait for Vita Pack for both of these Marines and then leave my healthy ones in the front. Should be fine. And Vita Pack and Vita Pack. Let's go ahead and take these two Marines in the front a little bit. I don't want to risk these getting hit by anything. This guy's almost back to full health. Quick save. Pretty much after every engagement, I'm going to quick save. We should really keep an eye on who they're attacking, because I think you can dodge those cocktails. You can dodge those Molotov cocktails. So, for example, we move in, we attack. Oh, these guys don't seem to be... As oh, never mind. They are attacking us. I see. I should not have picked that up right away. Let's just Vita Pack. I, I regret I regret that right there, but unfortunately, 
that's what we're stuck with. We're just gonna cycle out our dead Marines, and if I have to make a shortcut just to wait for Vitapax coming in, that's fine. So that would have given us our rockets back too, and again, I don't, I didn't research rockets. I can't believe I didn't do that. All right, stim. Oh God, don't move my camera in the middle of a fight. Oh, please. No good, just empty shafts. Lara, scan for other elevators. Okay, so we had to do that to avoid getting hit. We've got to use all of our Vita packs that are available. And Lara's looking for new elevators for us. Okay, well, that uh, that could have gone a lot better, obviously. But anytime you're in a fight, I suppose it's because I moved past them. I moved past them to dodge the Molotovs. Um, honestly, one way that you could do this semi-optimally as we sit here and wait for these Vita packs to come up is you could just use one Marine, run in, and just stop moving a big circle. And that would take forever, but it would work. And you probably wouldn't take any damage because you can dodge the Molotovs. Okay, let's quick save. Let's see more groups of those XMVs. I'm not scared of those, or XCVs. I'm not really scared of those at all, so. Can we attack this? All right, it's invulnerable. That means that that's going to open up later. We want to stay mildly spread out here. My units are going to naturally clump up, but... Oh, is this a bridge? There's another insertion team. Give them some covering fire. All right, get up there. Stim. Oh, it's Razor Face. Let's just try to keep, make sure we keep these Marines alive. All right, this is good. And we're just going to keep stimming. And as long as Razor Face is in the front and we can defend our, our friends down there. Looks like he automatically used Feast, which was cool. Well done, Magistrate. I found another elevator lobby near the main control room, through the offices. I wonder if we're going to be able to control these folks down here. Get to the elevators. And yeah, it looks like we can't get down to help them right now. Okay, we're stopped moving. I should just be stimming all the time, honestly. It's free. Ah! Ah! Okay, well... We weren't spread out enough for that, and also, uh, I don't have rockets. That's that's the thing where I would have instantly used rockets. So again, I made, I've made made my bed. I have to lie in it, because I didn't get... Oh my god, I didn't get uh, rockets. Huge, huge error on my part. Okay, but we're still okay. I'm not sure we're going to meet up with that insertion team at another point. Okay, enough with the perdition turrets. <laughs> uh, who has Vita pack up? Nobody? Let's just move on in then and take as much damage as we physically can before we have to use Vita Packs, and we'll just use them all at once. Okay, and then you make it so that when you attack these Perdition turrets, you're only getting hit by. You're only getting have one one commando getting hit at a time. Those uh those restoration packs that are just spread out are very 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 nice. So I'm trying to spread out a little bit again. We're going to naturally clump as we turn quarters and things like that. Uh, this looks like. We may have to fight through the whole thing. I see three guys coming at me at a time. I'd rather not engage everybody in the same room. So, like, I'm trying to just run in a small circle so that I only grab some at a time. It's hard to dodge these Molotovs all if you're getting attacked by multiple at the same time, but that's okay. All my Vita Packs are going to be up. So we're going to stim and run through. I don't know if these do friendly splash damage to themselves. Maybe if I could, like, get them to Molotov themselves, that would be kind of cool. Okay, and it's not super easy to dodge the Molotovs, but you still can dodge them. And then we're going to clear out this room, then we'll use our Vita Pack. Just keep stimming, because it's free. And getting the second level of that stim with the heal would be really, really helpful in these micro sections, so I totally understand that now. And siding with Decker, I'm not sure what the difference would have been, because it seems like... Ah, we're on the other side of this gate. Uh, because it seems like we were pulled into an ambush either way, so I wonder if you choose Lara what the difference is. Let's Vita Pack and just wait for full health. And also get that cooldown started so that it's a little closer to to full back when we're ready. I feel like we're going to get ambushed from behind through this door. Quick save. They're all busted. No time to worry about that, though. We have incoming. Of course we do. Stim. Okay, well, they're coming behind us. That's about what I anticipated. Fall back to the comms room. I got a crazy idea. Okay, well, hang on, Decker. Let me... Make sure I keep stimming, and I'm kiting these as much as possible. Clump up so that we can continue this kiting. Oh, I see. They're just going to keep coming, so let's just stim and go. Stop 
I'm, I'm not telling him to attack. I'm just, he just keeps turning to attack even though I'm telling him not to. These guys aren't even attacking me. Let's just get there. We should be right above the target room. You know what to do. Okay, we planted a thing and we're just gonna run in a circle so that we don't get killed. Meanwhile. So theoretically, those four guys are still alive, hopefully. And this is our other insertion team with Razorface. Who are breaching another part of the compound. Cool. I really like that door getting blasted open animation. I've never seen that before. Okay, Razorface lead the way. Stim. Gonna hotkey and hotkey. We're just gonna make sure we keep stimming. I could just spam stim. This is fun. Remember, as long as Razorface is feasted, he's fine. And I'm gonna try not to stim him twice if, if uh, necessary. Just gonna keep these guys. Let's go ahead and feast. We're just gonna keep uh, kiting. Get on, you guys get on, uh, we got Razorface in the front for the most part. This seems like a semi holdout section. I mean, not really, it's okay though. Seems like they keep coming from this room. I'm not sure if it's gonna be constant or if we just have to move. Oh, I see, okay, so we're, we're under the bridge where we actually saw this team from before. Seems like these fellows just keep coming. So let's just keep stimming. And see if we can get to where these things are spawning, and if it's just an unlimited amount, we're gonna have to run. But I'm gonna keep pushing through. This really does seem unlimited, doesn't it? It seems like, it seems very unlimited. Did I save recently? I'm not sure. Now, uh, again, I don't have rockets. Okay, Razorface is gonna run out of energy. Perhaps we just need to run. Stim. I really wish I would've had rockets here. Get to the assembly room. Yeah, it's constant. Um, I'm gonna reload my save because now that I realize that it's constant, I don't wanna really bother with it. Did I save after I busted into that room? I hope so. I don't remember if I did. I, sh I should have, I probably didn't. But now that we know that those XCVs are, are non-stop spawning, we wanna move further down the map. So it kinda keeps the pressure on. You have really good sustain on your units, but you have to be, I see. We have incoming, so I'm just gonna, now I know what I have to do, I'm just gonna run and get there. And ignore these, X S these XCVs that are ignoring me. Okay, there we go. So we're just finishing this up. My Marines barely took any damage that time. Okay, so meanwhile, we're heading down with Razorface's group, and this time we know to just completely ignore the XCVs behind us because it seems like they, they are nonstop. Real cool door getting blown open. Razorface. All right, let's get on up here. Stim. Let's just get through these as fast as possible before these ones behind us clump up too much. Okay, these are just normal fellows. I think we just wanna go. I think we just wanna go. Razor face lead the way. Let's just ignore these units if we can. Oh, I see. I see. So it was a it was like a semi-trigger that we had to we had to get these guys close to our friends so that they could help us. You run away, bite a pack, let's back up a little bit. Razor face, go ahead and feast. There we go, so our buddies helped us out there. So we needed to trigger these guys to come to stop these XCVs behind us from spawning, I suppose. Now they're leaving. Okay, so now we seem in good shape. It seems like nothing is spawning right now. Um, I guess let's go in and kill these, these guys. Stim and get in there and help Razorface. I will go ahead and use Feast so he can get some of his health back on this last enemy. And now that he is feasted, let's go ahead and see if we can get him up to get a little bit back. Back up, back up. Okay, great. How much damage do these do? I can't select them. That must have gotten turned off. Interesting. So let's do enable enemy unit selection. That was forced off at the beginning of the mission, but now... Uh, it seemed like at the transition to the melee portion, it got turned back on, or off, rather. Okay, let's get on in there. Go ahead and stim. I walked right into that Molotov. Kill us all, then. Liberty or death. That's that's pretty much what's happening here. I apologize. I said in my heart of hearts I didn't want to do this, but this is also just a game. So we can, do, we can make these kind of decisions and not feel bad about it, because it's all fake. Alrighty. Kill the civic... 
Well, what are they called? What are their actual names? Moving into the next section, uh, what, what are these guys? Oh, Civic Director. Interesting. So let's move on in. Razorface will get all of his energy back too, so why not just use Feast? Man, I am just, I'm still beating myself up over the fact that I didn't, uh, I didn't get rockets. This just seems like such a necessary part here. All right, let's just let Razorface take the heat there. Don't even let the Marines stand in the fire, because Razorface is armored, biological, massive, and heroic. So he's not, uh, he's not prone to taking extra damage to that fire. I really like the design inside of this factory. Very, very neat. They're already here. I'm juicing her up, boys. Yeah! Wait, you forgot... Delta Heavy. The big box hauler bot. It's a giant mule. These boss introductions are so cool. Alright, we gotta save. And what do we have to do? Kill Delta Heavy. These don't actually move us, dude. They do. These actually do move us. Wow, so this affects... This affects things. Oh, dear. I see. Razor face feast. Razor face feast. So we don't want to get pulled into his into his giant claws of death. I don't think. Oh, he's throwing stuff at us. Oh, he's throwing stuff at us. So the, the terraining here with the conveyor belts actually makes a big difference. Because you... It's a lot harder to avoid this stuff. Make sure we just keep stimming here. Alright. I would appreciate it if you stop that. We can do some damage to him here. No! Oh, almost got hit there. Razor face, no. Okay, razor face beast. And we're just gonna we're just gonna take it right here. Doing as much damage as we can as Razorface uh, is taking the heat, and we're just going to keep feasting him when he's on the ground. Keep stimming. Okay, we're back to this. Razorface just go really far away. My Marines are going to try to do as much damage as they can. Looks like there's some enemy units coming out, too, so we have to be careful. All right, you got to feast. Marines, stim. Keep using Vita Pack where applicable. Attack, keep stimming. We keep getting moved around by the conveyor belts. It's, it's kind of tricky to keep track of. Let's keep using Vita Pack. Razor Face Beast, yikes. Wanna get gotta get to the other side of him. So here comes my other squad. We're getting some reinforcements. Should get four more Marines. They're actually up on the top part. Okay, stim. Get rid of this guy. Hope you've come, hope, hope you've saved some for us. All right, so Marines, Hotkey, Vita Pack, Razor Face, just run away at this point because you can't do anything against this fellow. I take it back. We need him to. Uh... Oh, okay. So this this thing can kill its own units. Okay, so there is a slight delay for when they land and when they actually do the damage, which is really, really good. Razorface can do whatever he's doing up there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, I thought I had him hotkeyed. Razorface. Razorface, get in here. We need you. Go ahead and feast. Get on the other side of him so that he's getting pushed away from you. Stim. I thought I was on the right side of him here. He's almost down. I'm going to save. And Razorface just run away again. We're going to stim and bite a pack. And get rid of this thing. I really think that the free stim was one of the most important upgrades that we got this mission, for sure. That was a really cool boss battle. I like how the terrain with the conveyor belts actually had a huge effect on how the boss fight functioned. Really, really innovative. Well done, Magistrate. The board will be pleased. Let's just tell him this mech was broken when we got here. <laughs> Alright, Decker. And you saw it? With your own eyes? I couldn't look away as it killed everyone around me, covered in spikes and skin like steel, and it fought alongside them. A true bioweapon. Interesting. Life force, was it? Hmm. And luckily, life force didn't leave a single survivor to talk about this creature. Except you, of course. Sorry about this, son. I really am. Damn. 
This Marine's wearing Valerian's cape. Where'd he get that? <laughs> it's a cool custom Marine model. One Lara point, one Decker point. Two extra Decker points, and then the secret found. So again, I'm not sure what the secrets are. And maybe starting with the next mission, we'll be able to find out. Quick retrospective, awesome mission. Really, really well done. The macro section was really, really unique. Really unique. With the junk frigate and then the attacking fighters, and you could stop the pilots if you were fast enough. Brutal difficulty feels just right. I feel like I have to play safe to an extent. I feel like I have to play safe, but not so safe that I'll, I'll run out of resources. So it really does feel balanced to a great extent. Really, really enjoying this campaign so far, and I'll see you in mission free. Free? Mission free! I'll see you in mission three. Bye now.